Hi friends, I'm Smriti. Welcome to your Pilates Nest. Today's Pilates is movement medicine. One of my favorite quotes by Joseph Pilates is movement heals. Movement has the power to help heal, restore, and empower your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. You'll love today's practice designed to help you heal, energize, and strengthen yourself. Let's get started. Let's start with our legs flat, hip distance apart, knees bent, and you're facing the front edge of the mat here. Sit up tall, reach your arms long forward, lengthen your spine up towards the ceiling here, settling the shoulders down, and gently tilt the pelvis back as you lay your spine down onto the ground, vertebra by vertebra, piece by piece, stretching the back, and then rest the hands by your side. Bend your knees in generously in towards your upper body. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out, finding your space on the mat. Deep breath in with fresh air coming in and exhale, completely emptying out all the air, letting go of anything that's not serving you today. Deep breath in. Feeling the body expand. And as you exhale, feeling your body soften and letting go. Letting go of any worries or stress, any fears. Just letting it just float off your body. And now coming back to your natural rhythm of breath, start to notice those points of contact of your body on the mat your feet touching the mat, your palm touching the mat, point of contact on the pelvis, on the head, noticing the temperature of the room, any sounds to be here now as you set this sacred time for yourself. And scan your body gently from the very top of the head, noticing how different parts of your body feels, noting without any judgment, we're simply here to draw a picture in our mind, scanning through the neck, the shoulders, the arms, chest, the back, the stomach and the pelvis, thighs, knees, noticing any areas of lightness or heaviness, through the calves, and the feet. You have an idea now of how your body feels physically. Let's take a moment to note the mood of your mind, how you're feeling mentally and emotionally. And with those two sets of mindful scans, set your sacred intention for yourself here today. And then gently open your eyes for knee sway. Bring your hands out into a diagonal, making a V with your arms. From here, you're gonna sway both kneecaps towards me. So rotating the pelvis, stretching the pelvis, stretching the lower back here. So we're healing any tension away from our body and swaying the other way. And center, keep the neck relaxed. Try to glue the scapula onto the mat there if you can there. It's okay if there's movement, do what feels good. And swaying side to side, like rocking side to side. And center. And just find yourself in the middle here. Going into our book stretch. Bring the hands back towards the mat and turn around to face me. Let's bring our legs into side line tabletop position so the knees are stacked and from here you're going to stack your elbows on top of each other with bent knee and rest your head into your palm. Here if you feel like there's a tenderness or tension on your neck you can also use a rolled up towel or a blanket to provide more support for your neck. From here you're going to open that top elbow slightly behind you, opening up the rib cage, opening up the upper back. Hold here for three. 
two, one, and gently come back forward. So letting that neck stay loose in the palm and opening back here, hold. And return back in. And one more time, opening the upper back. So working on this opening work. So we prime ourselves for these movements and also release any tension there. Good, now let's come up to seated. So you can use your arm to assist or not. Find what works for you today. Again, sideline position with your knees stacked and your elbows stacked here. Resting the head in your hand and opening the top rib cage back, elbow goes back and stack the elbows again. Opening back, three, you might find on the second one, you can open up a little more and in. Feels really good, right? Out and stack the elbow. Great job. Let's go ahead and turn over onto our back here. And lay down on your back. Find that neutral spine position. Knees are bent to begin. And straighten one leg out. Bend the other knee in, going into our one leg circle here. So we're gonna just bend in here to give it a good stretch and extend that leg up towards the ceiling. You can always bend your knees here if you feel tenderness on the calves or the hamstring. And we're gonna draw a circle. Let's start with just external rotation. So going out, around, and in. Inhale and exhale, and in. So away from your center line and into your center line. Around and in, maintaining that pelvis still. You can also bend that bottom knee for more support. Last one, up, bend that knee and hug that leg in, stretching the hip flexor and extend that leg out. Bring the opposite knee in, hug that leg in, relax the jawline and extend that leg up towards the ceiling. Plant your palm onto the ground to stabilize and circle the leg out, around in it. Circle out, around and in. Gaze is right up towards the sky, drawing a beautiful circle right on top of each other, keeping that external rotation. We're focusing a little bit more on that hip opening with this external rotation. Breathe and enjoy. Last one. Bend that knee in, hug that leg in. Extend both legs on the mat for 100 variation. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling and then arms back towards your ears. Nod the chin to chest, exhale out all the air. Two, three, four, five, flexing the toes. And inhale, point those two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, to come up, neck curl. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Chin to chest, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And inhale, two, three, four, five. And in. Scooping those belly buttons in and up and pointing those toes as you reach back. Last one, in. Engaging the abdominals and out. Hold here, stretch those arms long, point those toes away long. Enjoy this wonderful stretch for your body. And lower the hands back down. Bend both knees in for single leg stretch. Right leg into tabletop and bend that knee in. Left leg out into a diagonal. From here, lift the head up and over to look at your stomach. So modification is you keep your head down and you switch and hold the other leg. Switch and switch. Another variation, you can keep the head up but support it with your hand. Go right here like this and switch, switch, switch and switch. Anytime if you feel like there's tenderness on the neck, try to see if you can engage the stomach more, the abs more. Or you can keep your head down, right? So you can do this without that. Just a little bit more of a challenge without the head support. And switch. Last two, last one. Bend both knees in for double leg stretch. Straighten both the arms and the legs out and circle the arms and bend the knees in. 
Inhale, reach away. Exhale to return. Out and exhale it back in. Stretch out like a rubber band modification. You can keep the head down and do the leg movement. Remember, you can also bring the legs a little higher for more support for your back. And in. Make it your own today. We're here for movement medicine. And it looks different for everybody, right? So do what feels good on your body. Let's do one more. And in, going into crisscross. Place both hands behind your neck, behind your bottom of your head. From here, right leg in, left leg out. Wanna lift your upper body up and over and rotate the torso towards the bent knee and switch and hold. Switch and hold, switch and hold. Let the head rest in your palms. You're leading with the waistline rather than the neck. You got this, doing beautifully. Switch and switch. Stretching those legs out like a rubber band. Out and in, engaging the links. Last two and one. Bend knees and rest your head. Circle those ankles, wiggle those toes. And let's come up to seated for spine stretch forward. Straighten both legs in front of you. And if you are not able to sit right on top of your sitting bones without feeling hunched because your hamstring perhaps feel tight or your hips, you can bend your knees like this, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna extend your legs straight up and sometimes it helps to put like a folded up towel or a blanket right underneath the pelvis to take that pressure away so you can straighten your back there. Arms are gonna reach forward. Gently imagine there's like a wall behind you. You're gonna peel your head off the wall, then the neck, then the shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, reaching forward, and stack your spine back up from your lower back, middle back, upper back, sitting tall, flex the toes towards your nose, reach with your heels, nod the chin to chest, and exhale, reach up and over. Rebuild that posture, lift the rib cage off the hip as you rebuild that posture. Exhale out all the air, reach forward. Breathe into that stretch. Feel that stretch along the back of the legs. And restack your spine back up, vertebra by vertebra. Last one. Exhale, peel, reach up and forward. And stack your spine back up, vertebra by vertebra. Sitting tall for spine twist. Bring the legs together here. Again, modification, you can bend your knees or cross your legs or make a diamond with your leg. You're gonna bring your hands out to the side like a helicopter. So we're gonna go exhale, exhale, twist to one side and inhale back to your center. Twist, twist and center. Get taller, taller as you twist and center. Exhale, exhale, ring out all the air and then inhale back that fresh air in. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale. One more each way. Get taller as you turn and in. Well done, bring the arms forward and bring the hands to the side. Lift your seat to your feet for rolling like a ball. Place your hands on the middle of your shins. Bring your legs about hip distance apart. So today we're gonna do a uh, modified version, you can do heels together or I'm gonna do it knees apart today just for fun. From here, you're balancing on your sacrum. Engage your core, engage your stomach. Those low abs lead the way. Round the spine back behind you, so articulating the spine back. And then roll down onto your shoulders and come right back up. So you can tap down if you want. I changed my mind, I'm gonna bring my heels together, toes apart, because it helped me get into my center line more to balance. Nodding the chin towards your chest, looking at your belly button, rocking back, and come up. Massaging the back, so good for your upper back, middle back, lower back. Really good way of calming the nervous system, improving the circulation up and down. And massage is always a good thing, right? Last one. 
Lower your feet down. Bring your hands back behind you towards the middle of the mat. Lift your seat to your feet. Straighten both legs in the front. Arms reach forward for roll up. Roll the pelvis back, vertebra by vertebra. Laying down your lower back, middle back, upper back. Arms reach back and forward. From here, you can do a regular roll up with arms reaching or place your hands behind on the mat right below your lower back for support. Nod the chin to chest gently, barely using the arms to assist. Stretch forward and stack your spine back up. Arms reach forward, rolling back vertebra by vertebra. Arms reach back and forward. Option to use the hands on the mat behind your lower back. On the mat, nod the chin to chest. Heel, reach up and over, articulate. Arms reach forward and rolling back vertebra by vertebra. And just for fun, I'm gonna do it without the hand support. Let's see if I'll make it there today. Ooh, that one was tough. And stack your spine back up. From here, go ahead and bend both knees in. Legs are hip distance apart. Pull up your pants if they've slid. That happens with this exercise, right? The roll up. So from here, gonna roll down all the way down. And in, going into our sideline position exercises. You're gonna turn around to face me. We'll start with marching. Straighten your whole body against the back edge of your mat. So from here, your head is resting here. The top arm can be here or here. So if you place your hand in the front, it's a little bit more support. Now extend both those legs out long by your side, going into marching side lying from here. You're going to bend that top knee in and out. Bend and extend. In and out. And, and engage the glutes. Try to keep your ribs still as the leg moves in and out. So tabletop and then back. Last one, in. Going into external rotation marching. So this is kind of like walking what we just did, right? So from here, we're gonna go externally rotate and in. Externally rotate and in, kind of like passe, if you've done that before. And now we're gonna add the arm movement. So from here, the arm reaches up for more of a challenge. Ooh, almost got off balance there. And pull in, you can always leave the arm movement part out. Pull in and press out. In and out. Let's do three more. Two. Last one, and out, well done. Come up to seated for a mermaid stretch. From here, bring the legs together. Reach that top arm up and over. It feels really good on the ribs. And really feeling that stretch. You can use your arm to assist yourself up. Hold, and slightly look up. Lengthen, reach over rather than just collapse over, right? We're doing Pilates. So then circle that top arm out around it. And get a, it's a really good wrist stretch. And going the other way, kind of feel like a dancer. And then lower the hands down, let's go to the other side. So swing the leg over, lay down side line position. Arm is straight at the bottom. The back, the le your whole body's stacked against the back of the mat. From here, you're going to bend, march forward, and then place it back. Bend and extend, keep your upper body still. Engage your low abs to stabilize the pelvis. In and out. Breathe out. Two more. Last one. And in, externally rotate that top leg and march sideways. So we pull in and out. In and out and out, adding that arm movement soon. So from here, bring the other arm up and over and we're gonna bend in and out. So the elbow reaches towards the bent knee and the top, in and out. Three more, in, two, last one and out. Wonderful, go ahead and come up to seated, going into a mermaid stretch. Bending the knees in, you can always stagger the legs too if that feels better on your knees. 
and reach the arm up and stretch up and over. Lift the spine up and over, making a rainbow with your spine. Looking up at that top arm if that feels okay on your neck. And then circle the wrist around and up. Around and up and go the other way. Around and up. Two, one. Lower the hands back down. Let's turn around to face the other way. So the legs are stacked side by side here. We're going to place our hands behind us for leg pullback prep. So you have the option to do the full version. We'll do the setup prep position first. From here, the wrist is facing towards your glutes. You also have the option to play around with it, right? So if this feels better or sideways, you can do that as well too. From here, look straight forward. Lift the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Keep looking straight forward and in. So I want you to think about using all of your fingertips as a root, like a root of a tree. So you anchor through your roots, your fingertips, the heel of your hands, and then lift the pelvis up and down. Inhale, lift, hold, two, three, and lower. You can stay there or you can progress to straight leg and lift and lower. Either spine, find one that challenges you. And up and down. Good. Let's go ahead and bring our hands forward. Circle the wrists out, around and in. Three, two, one. Going the other way. Three, two, one. Let's turn around to face the mat. Coming onto our kneeling position here. So for here, we're going to bring our wrist right underneath our shoulder. Legs are hip distance apart. And set the shoulder blades down your back. Not the chin towards your chest. Round your upper back up towards the ceiling, then your middle back and lower back. You're making a dome with your spine. Adjust your hand position as needed, making sure that kneecap is right underneath the hip socket on the right and the left. Then bring your tailbone back into neutral. Lower back, middle back, upper back, neck and the head. Head slightly stretches up. Then we're going to start the opposite way. So we're going to tuck that tailbone under, articulate our lower back up, middle back, upper back, shoulders, neck and the head. Hold here, enjoy the stretch. And gently bring the tailbone back into neutral, lower back, middle back, upper back. Everything is back into neutral for leg pull front prep. So from here, I'm going to walk forward a little bit more. And your legs are still hip distance apart from here. You're going to walk your right leg out, straightening it. Find your anchor point, flex the toes to really anchor yourself there. And extend the other leg out. You can stay here or you can lift the one leg up and down. Remember, you always have the option to do it in your forearm too, where you are also all the way down onto your forearm with legs extended. So find a position that works best for you today. From here, you're gonna lift and lower. Up and down. One more. And then let's switch legs. So we're going up and down. Up and down. Lengthen through the top of the neck. Hold here, bend the knees. And press back into a rest pose here. Breathe. Tucking those toes under, letting your forehead rest. Breathe and release. Enjoy this stretch. Walk your hands back, <coughs> excuse me, towards your knees. And let's go into a lunge and split series here. From here, you're gonna go ahead and bring your right leg forward into a bent knee position. And bring the hands down. So the fingertips are touching here. Opposite leg can be right underneath the hip socket or slightly further back for a deeper stretch here. From here, you're gonna straighten your front leg, actually straighten your back leg. And we're gonna do some moving stretches here. Some dynamic stretches. You're gonna sway your body back and in. Head is in line with your spine. Back and forward. And in, two more. Last one, in. Lower that back knee down. From here, you're gonna straighten your front leg as you hinge back in that back hip. So you can stay and hold this position or you can go into dynamic Stretch and go and bend the knee and straighten the leg. And loosening up those joints, healing any tightness or tension. We're building strength, we're building energy. 
all that good stuff with movement medicine that is Pilates. And in. This time, let's just stay there. And spine stretches forward. Woo, I feel that stretch all along my hamstring and my calves. All right, let's shift the body forward and switch and go to the other leg. Opposite leg comes bent knee into your lunge position, kneecap over the ankle. From here, back leg lifts up and straightens and we can go forward or back. You can just stay down here if that's what you can do today. That's perfectly fine. Out. You don't have to look like me. Out and in if you're moving the dynamic movement. And in. Head is in line with your spine to avoid that pressure on the neck. Let's do one more back. And in and lower that back knee down. Straighten that front leg. Flex the toes of the front foot. Going back, stretching back. And gently come in. You can do it slower if you'd like. And in. This is a rhythm that feels good on my body today. So I'm going to go this pace. Lengthen, anchor that heel of the front foot. Breathe into the stretch. Last one, we're going to stay here and stretch your upper body forward. Two, one, and bring that leg back up. Go ahead and bring both knees underneath your hips and turn around to face me. Cross your legs, close your eyes, rest your hand on your lap. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Fresh air in and fresh air out. And just take this time to scan your body from the very top of the head, noticing the change you feel through the face, the neck and the shoulders, the arms, that sense of energy, strength, clarity, all the way through the heart, stomach, the back and the hips. Thighs, knees, calves, and feet. Notice how you feel physically overall. Notice how good it feels to have this time for yourself with Pilates, with our movement medicine. And let's go a little deeper. Take a moment to note the mood of your mind and check in with how that feels, right? So it feels so rejuvenating and rewarding and calming. Gently take a deep breath in with the fresh air coming in. And as you exhale, feel stronger, energized, calmer, and at peace as you gently open your eyes. Great job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. I hope you are of yourself too. And I'll see you on your mat very soon again next time. If you like this video and want to see more classes like this, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let me know how today's class went for you in the comments.